All right, guys, we are walking into InterDrone, big drone conference in Las Vegas. That is a big drone. Uh, you've been here before, right? Compared to three years ago, this is like a technological explosion. All right, so apparently this crazy looking drone is powered by hydrogen. Yeah, one and a half to three hours of flying. Okay. You take the tank out, replace it, and it'll give you an hour and a half to two and a half hours more. So am I ever going to see one of these hydrogen systems small enough I could put it on like my, uh, my, my freestyle drone? Yeah, so, you know, hydrogen strength is an energy density. Its weakness is in power density, whereas like a 50C Hello, or 80C MIPO has fantastic power density but low energy innovation. density. Top speed of like 30 miles an hour versus our 60 miles an hour. It's not so much about top speed mm -hmm. as acceleration. Ah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Definitely the coolest flying hamster ball I've ever seen. This is something I'm actually uh, pretty interested in. Micro Drone 4.0. It's supposed to be, what, it's 190 grams, 180 grams all up? Uh, 112. 112? 112 grams all up. Basically, it's a DJI Spark, but lighter, two cell. Look how small it is. Just look at it. <laughs> We're not releasing too much information at the moment, um, just because it's not. I just leaked yet. it all. <laughs> I just said it's this live. is live right now. <laughs> Escaping, kind of leaving. We're ditching the conference, we're ditching. ditching work. We're gonna go fly. These are these are the homies from Action Drone. So, Daryl, yeah. what's what's Action Drone? Tell us about your company real quick. Basically, you know, we're mostly industrial stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're not we're not really in the uh, the fun space, uh -huh. but you know, there's some guys that are uh, you know after work we basically do a lot of the fun stuff that you guys get to do yeah. and uh, it kind of transforms because you know really what we do is um, because we do industrial work the best pilots that we've ever found are the ones that are flying racing drones and are capable of actually doing really difficult things. You guys usually build commercial industrial sized drones but on the side you got the... It's always the racing side that gives us the better technology because they want to push everything to the limit. Do you think that innovation in the FPV space has allowed for drones used industrially to become smaller when that wasn't even something being considered? So basically this, if you look at the components, everything in here was based on, uh, based, based on what you guys are using, right? right. And then uh, because you guys have put so much flight hours on it, we know that um, it's more reliable than some of the companies that are designing bigger drones because some of the stuff you guys put this through some crazy tests. I mean, you guys, <laughs> I mean, you guys watch videos where you guys are banging it straight to a tree, a wall. I, mean, I think you guys need to come to Detroit. And I know. Do some stuff. You, you know, Detroit. Check out the Detroit is some pretty good places to fly because we're get, now getting a request to be able to clear abandoned buildings using these kind of drones. Oh wow! Right. Okay. So. We are actually really considering that and we're looking for, we might be looking for ways to show government and corporations that people can fly through buildings mm -hmm. with ease because they've had so much skills well, and just, so much Just practice. send them to my channel, send them to my channel. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Alright, we've made it about 25 minutes outside of the city. We've come to this giant private yard that we're gonna get to fly. This is great. Uh, super quick session, but we already have to head back to the Hotel Harrison. Thank Thanks you for coming out for having us out here. This Next time amazing. you're in Vegas, hit me up. Oh, yeah, we love need it. to have a longer session here. Yeah, yeah. Love I'm gonna burn like two fun. packs and we gotta go. Oh, but yeah. you got some good ones though. I tried, can't wait to try my best. <laughs> I actually had more fun walking around the conference than I was expecting. I used to go to more industry conferences like this when I uh, when I had an engineering job and these are not quite as fun. But drones, cool stuff happening. Um, but you might be wondering why exactly am, am I at a, a drone conference like this that's more focused on uh, commercial technologies um, when my primary focus is on FPV freestyle and basic kind of sport and acrobatic flying. Absolutely. What's up? Is that a video? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can't shoot videos in the casino. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Alright, no vlogging in the casino policy. Suppose I can understand, even though it does make making videos a little bit more difficult. Getting outside though, probably good, because there's a lot of smoke in there, it's awful. I do not like casinos. Uh, what was I saying? Why am I at a more uh, uh, commercial and industrially focused drone conference when my primary interest is in recreational FPV flight? Uh, well, there's a couple things. First off, new technology and innovation is awesome, and some of the things in the kind of industrial sector might make their way over. You, you never know exactly how it's uh, how it's going to work. I mean, there's always kind of that cross pollination. Um, I mean, our side of things is is somewhat of a, of a test bed in the sense that, like, Formula One race cars are test beds for certain technologies that eventually make their way into passenger cars. So, things that are innovated for our use might end up in the commercial space. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably never actually have a hydrogen powered freestyle drone as cool as that would be. But yeah, a lot of cool stuff, right? And when I first got into RC and drones, it wasn't because I wanted to pursue anything uh, with, with FPV freestyle in particular. I didn't really know what FPV freestyle was. It wasn't even a thing. I just uh, kind of got interested in the technology and RC in general. And I was playing with all sorts of different things and like building and tinkering. And so that's why we're here is to just kind of get us thinking, seeing what's out there. And we are doing some networking with some of the companies and organizations in the other sectors of the drone industry. Because I do believe that there is some potential for work that we can do together. I need to turn around and start walking back. I'm just kind of on a walky, rambly talk. 
point is, drones are here to stay. FPV is here to stay. The, the drone industry is growing and the, the recreational FPV segment of the drone industry is growing. There are new technologies and innovations emerging and uh, I just, I just want to be, be near the fire. Take some time, come out here, get our eyes on stuff, get our ears on stuff, meet people and just get some feelers out there as to um, what my company, Rotor Riot, could be doing in cooperation with other areas of the drone industry. So, really long answer to something that maybe you weren't even uh, wondering, but uh, you no know, FPV freestyle, it'll always come first for me and Rotor Riot. But it's cool to see, um, cool to see other stuff too. So this is Old Vegas, the Fremont Street Experience, downtown, whatever you want to call it, but I think this is the good part of Vegas. Uh, there's the Strip, which is all the giant casinos, that's where our conference is, and you end up in those buildings, and you never leave, and they're filled with smoke, and it's just, it's the worst. This, yeah, the smoke sucks. This, you walk around outside, you have some street beers. It's crazy. It's crazy. Good mo Ooh, hold on that white down. Good morning. This is the end of the trip. It's been a good one. Enjoyed the conference more than I thought I would. Got to fly more than I thought I would. Thank you for hanging out, coming along on this trip. Always appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you'll stay tuned. I'll see you again soon.